working and need a bigger base. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Ian here, and today we're going to be playing a game called The Park. Now this is like, I believe it's an indie horror game, I know it's a horror game, but let's just click new game. The Park is a narrative experience best played in the dark room wearing headphones. Okay then, it was talking about some weird stuff, um, so this is a little horror game, I've seen somebody else play it, but that was like a year and a half ago, I think, so I really have no idea what's waiting for me, so, let's get ready for some scares, yay! Frame rate. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Five frames per second, what the heck? Okay, I'm sorry for the terrible Where's frame Mr. rate. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear Callum. So we're playing as that girl. Or that woman. Whatever. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. No, I'm recording the video. Can go away. This is a hard game. Okay, so attention patrons, the park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Um prepare the park for shutdown. Okay. Examine plague or plaque. I can move. I can't look around though. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Okay, then. <laughs> um... Did I break the game already? Um, why won't it work? <laughs> okay, so first my my mouse stops working. Okay, well my mouse is still working, it just won't look around. Now the walk won't work. Hold on. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Um, I just realized. Besides from the company vehicles, I think that's what they are. We're the only car here. 
Alright, so I, it stopped working for a while. I needed to, um, restart a new game. Callum was born this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Cool. Um, alright, now it's working. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> Info. Whoa. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. I just killed a fly. Alright, my boy just ran into a, the park. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Come on, this way. Callum, wait. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Um, Callum? Callum? Uh, I do not feel safe. Oh God, the park. What happened here? I don't know. <laughs> Press shift to toggle running. Okay, fair enough. I'm coming, Callum. No, not inside there, please. Anywhere but there. Callum, anywhere but there. Oh my god, thank god. Oh no, 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 no. We can't infinitely run? Oh, that's no fair. We're gonna lose our son. Callum, wait. Number one rule, never look behind you. That's what's gonna get you killed. <laughs> oh no, that does not look friendly. I do not like that. I'm watching that thing. Examine shoe, what? I think this belongs to Calum. Uh, okay then. You, sir, better not come to life. I have my eye on you. I swear that thing's gonna come to life. I don't like it. <laughs> Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Just a drunk guy in the suit. Okay, then. I don't like it. <sighs> Handwritten note. Okay, then. What is this about? Okay, I have no idea what this is. Chad the Chipmunk, you better not come to life. Okay. 
you really might not want to watch this. Sorry guys, that's just like my nephew. Don't hide from me, Callum. Callum. Over here. Where are you? What's this? Callum, stay where you are. Callum's not on that. Okay then. Where is he? I don't see him. Stop, Callum. Callum. I'm a Suzumi. I don't. I have no idea where to go. So I'm gonna just keep walking on the path. Lum -di -dum -lum. I I'm trying to stay in my happy place. What is this? That's just a plant. Okay then. Oh crap, it just suddenly got darker. I can see things loading in on the ground. I set this on the lowest uh, thing possible, the lowest quality possible. Callum, stay where you are. Come on, mommy. Another accident. This place. I don't like this place. Why am I here? Why did I ever decide to come here? Oh, that's just a street lamp. That looked like a pair of eyes in the distance. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That scared me. It sounds like it's behind me. Is it in this car? I'm confused. <laughs> oh, is that blood? There's Mr. Teddy Bear. You have a knife in your eye. That's not nice. I'm just gonna keep going. The real scares haven't even started and I'm already scared. Callum? Oh, that's a big Ferris wheel. I do remember from a video I saw, we get to ride the rides. We get to ride that, I'm, I'm pointing at the screen like you're right next to me again. We get to ride that octopus thing and we get to ride the Ferris wheel. Um, one of the things. Alright guys, sorry for the sudden cut, still only using a, um, a, uh, little demo version, pretty much, of Bandicam. I was facing like this, over there, and I clicked on the button to call for Callum, and it sounded like over there, so I'm going this way. 
I think we're supposed to ride that log flume thing. <laughs> And I'm recording this at night, so I'm sorry if you can't see my face all that well. I just really wanted to record this at night, add to the creepiness. And that bear has a knife in its eye. Can you guys see that? Is that a knife or a syringe? No, that's a knife, and I do not want to open the door. I'm not opening that door. Not yet. I'm finding Callum. Well, now we know what happened to Mr. Bear. That's what Callum wanted in the first place. Ah, uh, this woman walks so slow. Hey! first person game where you can actually look down and see your body that's a first all the other games you look down and you don't see your body well in team, in team fortress 2 you do yeah i think that little duck or swan thing came up there for a reason i think we're supposed to ride this Calm's not answering. Alright. Come on. Right, swan. It, it was a swan, okay. Oh, God. Nothing's gonna, like, swim up behind me, is it? I have a bad feeling about this. Is there going to be a whirlpool or something that's going to kill me? That's pretty. What's on the ceiling? Are those mini GLaDOSes? Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. Hansen they were and very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Okay. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I don't know. Tell you what, husband? We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. Don't no, abandon your wife. children. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. No, don't stop Do not fret, right. Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Ah, oh, smart kid. That, that is a smart kid. I don't know if you guys can hear this. The next morning, woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Oh. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Smart kid. They get murdered, don't they? After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. No. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. A 
abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread. Oh, is this where the witch tries to eat sugar. them? Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Yeah. It is. Come on, where's the next picture? There it is. Nibble, little mouse. My house. An old, old witch woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. Yeah, hot oven to bake them. offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside. Don't the trust her. Emerged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Whoa. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. No, don't feast upon him. Time oh, passed, that's the light. Poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here, and she moved to show Gretel. Smart Seeing kid. her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Smart. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Very smart kids. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Are those people? No, that, that's not people. No, it's not. Um. No, thank you. Mr. Swan, you are not nice. You just sent a shiver up my back. That's what you just did. Can I get out now? Alright guys, so we're gonna open that car door and then end it here. I'm gonna call this story time with Jack. Cancel and Greta. No. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. 
Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger cool. leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Okay, are you done talking? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna open this door now. In this car, wait, where'd the car go? Oh, there it is, okay. I thought the car disappeared. No, why would they do that? That sparks whenever... It's that... Whenever you walk up. Oh, uh, I don't want to open the door, I'm afraid... The teddy bear's gonna... Hold on, let me turn down my volume for this, I don't want this. It's at like 10 percent right now. I'm gonna turn it off. Is there a monster behind me? That teddy bear definitely has a knife in his eye. Alright guys, but I'm gonna end it here, so I hope you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video!